what is up guys this is your boy alpha medtech and welcome to another dose of tech today we are going to do a little unboxing about the new cal digit ts4 and this is has been a highly anticipated product from 2018 and we're gonna get right into the unboxing let's get started shall we so in the box this is how the box looks like All right, so right here we have the TS4 from Caldeja. So we get in the box the unit itself. We're gonna talk more in detail about what's different. We have a um, Thunderbolt 4 cable. This is about 1.5 feet. We have the power supply and we have a thank you note as well and a quick um, start guide so let's do take this out of the way and let's do a comparison also with the ts3 is the famous ts3 and we have the ts4 so the first thing you want to notice is the size difference so right here on this side we have the ts3 and this one we have the TS4. So size different, you can see this about like a uh, one inch or three quarter of an inch in height. And we have about in width two, we have about a quarter of an inch. So it is uh, bigger than the previous. In terms of housing, it feels the same way as the TS3 and if you know about it, this is a very rugged full metal build, feels great in the hand with the ventilations here and the ports on the back it's the same way, we have ventilation also and we can also notice the rubber feet on the bottom so this can be uh, horizontal or it can be vertically like this on the table so um, let's talk about the front so main difference on the front so um, first of all we have here at um, SD card but this one we have an SD card reader and also a micro SD card so if you have like a GoPro like I have or drone footage you can just connect it to this micro SD card which is very handy also here on the front we notice the TS3 has uh, a USB type C and a USB um, port but this one are only 5 gigabits per second the speed whereas in the T uh, TS4 we have these ports are t uh, 10 gigabits per second so they're double the transfer speed also these ports are only 7.5 watts and we have an additional port right here and this port is 20 watt so you can connect about uh, like an ipad or anything that's that requires a little bit more juice. On the front here, we also see that we have a headphone jack. We also have a headphone jack. Um, so basically we have the additional micro and, ad and additional USB-C port on the front. So let's move into the back. In the back, we can see um, let's first talk about the um, display port. So this display port is a 1.2 um, display port, which you can connect a 4K um, display up to 60 frames per second. Whereas this one right here is a dis um, display port 1.4. So this one you can connect a 4K 
uh, up to 120 frames per second or even an 8K uh, monitor. So big improvement in the display department. Um, we can see here that this TS3 has four USB port in the back and these USB ports are limited to five gigabits per second. Whereas in the TS4, all these four are 10 gigabit per second. So twice the speed there as well. Um, the TS3 had an optic um, port here, but this port um, was not widely used. I wasn't using it for my sound system. So the TS4 has it in and out jack. So you can connect it directly from your speaker to the back here on the TS, TS4. Um, into the uh, Ethernet department, so the Ethernet, we have in the TS3, we have a, a full gigabit uh, Ethernet connection where in the TS4 we have a 2.5 gigabit connection so it's two and a half times faster than the previous one and if you have like a, a NAS system or like um, any uh, higher Ethernet speed then you can take full advantage of the increase in uh, Ethernet speed uh, let's go talk about also power so for power the TS3 can uh, supply your computer MacBook to about 87 watts but the new TS4 can supply the computer up to 97 or 96 watts so that's also about 11 watts in higher so like for the new m1 max computer that requires a little bit more um, power this will be able to supply more and here we have in the usb we have a computer usb connection this one goes straight to the computer and then you had a another USB-C where you can connect it to like another your second monitor and then you have a 10 gigabit connection for like a um, SSD I used to put my um, SanDisk SSD in this port now in the TS4 instead of two we have three um, USB-C, one goes to the computer, then we have another one for your like second monitor and then you had an extra one here so if you want to connect an SSD or additional SSD uh, you can, these are all 10 gigabit per second, this is 10, this is 40 and we had another one here, a 10 gigabit per connection um, to connect an SSD or a hard drive and then we have a lock here to lock the unit so for safety measurement uh, and that's about it for this initial review later on I will do a maybe a comparison on the speed but this is was highly anticipated I like the fact that this has 18 ports instead of 15 and all the ports are updated to about double the speed so I'm very excited for this and I hope this video was very informative if you're new here welcome in this channel we talk about tech camera related accessories uh, productivity travel and much more so if you if you what you saw was useful to you make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and also join the notification squad to see when new videos are released uh, thank you for watching this is Alphamatic and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.